It is time for the Oh Wow Moment, brought to you by the Gloria and Roger Jones Children's Center for Science and Technology. We're here with Mr. Ralph, our Inspire Works Manager. Mr. Ralph, there's a lot of stuff here. What are we doing well, today? Well, I'm glad you kind of mentioned that word inspire because mm. uh, I'd like to talk a little more today about our Inspire Works, which is open today, by the way. We open at 12 and we're open from 12 to 4. We want to encourage everybody to come down Okay. because this month uh, is focused on sound. We're focused on uh, just the, the idea of sound. Sound okay. is, a, is a form of energy and it's created by uh, vibrations in the air and, and those vibrations are made when air particles they bump into each other and when they bump into each other if you're close enough you can hear it and it's it's a form of energy which is really neat to see and I have this little instrument here it's called a tuning fork and and this is used to tune instruments uh, that are out of out of tune but the neat thing about it is I want you to I want you to tap this off the table and put it up next to your ear now the viewers aren't going to be able to hear it but I want you to describe to them what you hear when you tap it and then put it up next to your ear I hear something. Yeah, you, and, it, and it'll go on forever mm. because the wavelengths in there and the, and the waves inside there and the sound in there is not going to stop until you touch it. Mm, so we it. actually can show the viewer that sound is an energy. I'm going to make this water sort of move. <gasps> so it's moving. I haven't touched the water. Yeah. Okay, but it moved. It moved it because wiggles. it's a form. Of, right. It's a form of energy. So. With that, all this stuff that you said is all of the materials, recycled, refurbished, upcycled, donated things, stuff I found in the trash can, <laughs> stuff that we can use at a while to make sound. And, and that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so I it. have some stuff over here. It's real simple for you. Um, we've got a dowel rod, you know, a little dowel rod here. And, and I actually glued, I cut a hole in the top of a water bottle. A popsicle stick. Popsicle stick. So I want you to just throw some beads or paper clips in one of those bottles. Put the cap on if you're going to use the... The popsicle stick, put okay. the dowel rod on uh, if we can tape that. Now, so sound is created in three ways. Okay. Um, it's, you, you can tap, so mm -hmm. kids can tap. Um, you can strum, and I made a little uh, start of a thumb piano, which is uh, one of the hackets that'll be going on. Uh, so, so we've got. Oh, it's like a little, okay. And it gives sound. different pitch, mm -hmm. pitch. So those notes that are drawn out, okay, so. Shake that up. You're going to shake your maraca, right? You made a maraca. Look at that. Pretty I simple, right? It. Yes. So the neat thing is there are so many things. You can Making tap things. Sound. You can pluck things. Um, you can blow. <laughs> you know? Um, we won't say what that sounded like. Right? How about if we pull oh. just a shoestring with a hole in a can that sort of sounds like a turkey, I guess, yeah. right? Oh, oh, oh. Kind of oh, funny, huh? Mr. Um, Ralph. So a lot of these things are, are found in your home. Beads, beans. Oh my gosh, all you've done is just put some string around that. Right. I love it. So here's a neat way to teach children about just pitch and the okay. high note. All right. You get like a glass. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mr. Ralph. How are you? How are you? Uh, it's, uh, that's right. it's wildsmatizing, isn't it? It is wildsmatizing, <laughs> and that's a great word that yeah. you have made up. Somebody wrote in and said, "What is wildsmatizing?" Yeah, better that than that. Is wildsmatizing. Yeah, better than awesome sauce. Wait, I think you, that should get in the dictionary. I know. I think wildsmatizing should, and I it should. should be credited to you. Wait, can you do that again? I can. Wait, so you just, I just wet your hand. Yeah. So what we want to teach the children is if you fill the glass at different levels with water or whatever fluid you have. The notes, the pitch of the notes are going to be higher or lower. So when the wavelengths are longer and drawn out, they're a lower pitch, like a sound of a lion. Roar, that's deep. So when they're closer together, like a mouse, those sound waves, when they're closer together, there's going to be a high pitch. So that right there is a high pitch noise. Well, um, John says we have a little less than a minute left. That, well, that five minutes went quick. I was going to say, well, we can, we can tap our coconut, you know. Oh. Um, you remember we said you know sounds are made by plucking. You can you can we can start our own band, Miss Madonna. I mean, uh -huh. you know if we if I, the Ralph and yeah. Madonna band. Beer, 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 you know. I don't. You know what? You you have got to be the most fun person. I love it. And you know, remember everybody, a positive attitude can indeed make anything happen for anyone. And just remember, every time you're out and about, wear that seatbelt. And remember all these wonderful things that Mr. Ralph has showed us that we can make sound with. I love it, Mr. Ralph.